Okay. Um, do you want to try to do the intro? Yeah. Okay. What's up, Greg? Welcome back to another episode of How to Watch a YouTube Video. This is my guest, Ryan Trahan. That's He's right. here today to help me make a video about WikiHow articles. So, a lot of you guys have probably seen the last video I made on WikiHow articles. Yeah. WikiHow is like the weirdest place on the internet to learn how to do anything. That should be their slogan. The weirdest <laughs> place on the internet to learn how to do literally absolutely anything. Anything. Yeah. Things that you would need to know in a pinch, things that you would need to know once in a lifetime, things that you would never need to know ever. Everything is captured in one site. I literally don't understand why any of these are articles. Like completely just baffles me. Okay, this one I really like because I just like the thought of somebody doing this. <laughs> this one is called How to Pretend to have ice powers. After watching Frozen, many people want to be like Elsa and have her ice powers. Of course. Fortunately, you can actually have those powers, even if you weren't born with them. Woo! So this is a bold promise, right? This is a bold promise. It's not just saying, fortunately, you can pretend to have those powers. It's saying, fortunately, <laughs> you can actually have ice powers. You can have them. They're out there, and you can have mm -hmm. them. It just takes a lot of practice, work, and education. The most important part, education. Jesus, you need Always a doctorate learning. for this shit. <laughs> so this is a real article that's on WikiHow. Yep. It has 99,000 views, and it has a three-star rating, which means some pe for some people this Kinda worked. It works, yeah. yeah. For a little over half. The first step is learn about ice and snow. <laughs> the most important basic element of yeah. having ice powers. I, th I would say this is starting a little bit, like I, I would like a lot of background information. This is starting a little bit too far back. <laughs> Everyone already knows what ice and snow is. We have an understanding of what this <laughs> is. So. Every person who has ice powers has to know about the ice and snow and winter time. <laughs> when is winter anyway? I <laughs> Learn about how snow is formed, what snow crystals look like, and weather pet. I don't understand how any of this will help you. Like uh, yeah. if you have ice powers, it will work where regardless of whether you <laughs> even know what ice is. Like you just go like that and someone turns and into it, ice. Like, and it's just cold. You don't have to know what it is. Yeah. You just go like that and they are ice. Why do you need to know what the snow crystals look like? You can like understand. So that when you make one, you're like, that is it. <laughs> that is what I was going for, uh, actually. Okay. <laughs> read stories about winter magic. <laughs> when are we gonna get to making ice? <laughs> what? This is just a bunch of reading. Yeah, it wants me to read The Snow Queen by Hans, Hans Christian Andersen. <laughs> the Snow Queen in this story has ice powers and you could learn a lot from her. Like how to do ice powers? Or maybe just like her hair. Maybe it's all about like the way you dress. I feel like I'm in piano classes and I want to learn for release and the teacher's just teaching me scales <laughs> right now. And I'm like, when do I get to do the cool shit? But honestly, uh, this seems like it has nothing to do with what I want to learn. I think this is just someone that owns a lot of like ice themed products. Like watch movies and TV shows where people yeah. have ice powers. Wait, this Dude. article was written by Disney and Hans Christian <laughs> Andersen. <laughs> trying to get more people to buy his book. People really want these ice powers that I made up. Yeah. Watch movies movies and TV shows where people have ice powers. Dude, that's- I promise that's not gonna help. Everyone has done that already. Ice powers are supernatural powers. <laughs> watching a TV show is not- like, watching the Avengers is not going to make you the Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> what if, like, at, like, one hour and 36 minutes, all of a sudden you're like- <laughs> You, like, reach for the remote and it freezes. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Holy shit! I- <laughs> you watch it 20 times and it finally happens. <laughs> you're like, they were right! I read the book and I watched the movie and it's now I'm Elsa! It's like, pour out ice. But then it becomes a curse and everything you start touching becomes ice. And That's like, a nightmare. What have I done? They need to make an article on how to stop. How to get rid of your ice powers. Yeah. <laughs> Getting the look. No. Add a little bit of white in your hair. Or if you're old, you can already do it. Yeah. You can already have these ice powers. Yeah, you it's might have ice. Wait, does that mean that all old people have ice powers? <laughs> and we just don't know about it? If you add a little bit of white to your hair, you'll have ice powers. But if your hair is totally gray, you're a snow wizard. You are Elsa. Although bleaching your whole head is a viable option, it's not necessary and could easily go wrong. Absolutely. Could easily go wrong. Easily. Very. You might turn into an evil ice witch if you bleach <laughs> your entire head. Or maybe you turn into something completely different, like <laughs> fire, like a fire witch. Like as you start to bleach it, like you start freezing <coughs> things and then it, like it fully bleaches and you just like turn into a full snowman. You're a snowman. This is not what I wanted. Accessori- I feel like these are all things you would do after you have ice powers. Yeah. These are not before things. Like the ice powers comes first and then you can start dressing like the ice queen that you are. Yeah, like Spider-Man didn't have his suit before he even knew he was like, <laughs> a sp like can sling webs. He gets bit by the spider and he's like, this is perfect, I already have the suit. Yeah. 
I made this in preparation. You know, they prepared. always told me, be prepared. Absolutely. I read the article and it said, make a Spider-Man suit. Accessorize. Accessorize. And now I'm ready. Okay, so this is when it's going to tell us how to actually pretend to have ice powers. I am excited. First thing you want to do, pretend to be practicing your powers. This person has their hands completely submerged in ice water. <laughs> this does not seem like pleasant at all. So just basically get pneumonia is yes. the step. Just maybe hold your hand straight out at the faucet or cup of water or something when you know someone's about to walk in. <laughs> pretend to concentrate on what you're freezing. At first, pretend that you don't see the person there. Then say something like, it won't work, or why can't I freeze this? And then stare at the person in a shocked and slightly alarmed expression. Maybe tell them not to mention this to any living soul, <laughs> and then quickly walk out of there and into your room before they can ask any questions. What is going on? That was <laughs> the most detailed step I think I've ever seen on WikiHow, and it was like so anecdotal. I feel like this person who wrote this is doing this and trying to seek approval. I know, and it starts off so nonchalant, like they're trying to almost make it seem like they're not suggesting this yeah. or like they don't they don't have it planned out but then like there's they start out just just maybe, just maybe hold your hand straight out that at the faucet or cup of water or something like they're like they're trying to act like they don't know yeah. how to do this but then as it goes more in depth it just gets so specific like say things like it won't work or why can't this freeze and then stare at them shocked and then go off into your room <laughs> slightly alarmed expression also what a creepy thing to do That's... imagine walking into a room where someone's got their whole imagine walking into someone and they're they're totally submerged in a ice water like a bad bath of ice <laughs> and they go it's not working and then they look at you and they like, mom? Pr prance <laughs> off into their room are you okay mom <laughs> make conversation <laughs> Snow. The step is dip your hands into a cup of freezing cold water or under cold water. This way, when someone grabs your hands, they will feel cold. They may ask you why. Just say something like, oh, uh, no reason. <laughs> no reason at all. And walk away. <laughs> they include, like, the stutters and, like, trying to understand what they're saying. So what is this picture? That has nothing to do with that step. <laughs> Everyone's smiling. This woman just said... Snow. Snow. So this this uh, whole thing isn't so much teaching you how to pretend to have ice powers. It's teaching you how to pretend like you have ice powers and you don't want anyone <laughs> to know. You couldn't possibly pretend to have ice powers because that would require you to be able to freeze things. Yeah. But if you're pretending you have ice powers but you don't want anyone to know, then you don't actually have to ever display... <laughs> <laughs> any ability. Any so supernatural. This is kind effect. of genius in a way. Yeah, it kind of is. I'm starting to believe it. <laughs> Number seven, glance at your hands when you watch a movie where someone has ice powers. Make sure people notice, but don't look at them <laughs> too, too often, often <laughs> during the movie. Otherwise, they will know you're trying too hard and ignore you the rest of the movie. This guy in the picture is like, bro, yeah. Do you have ice powers? <laughs> <Yeah>. Wait. <laughs> so this is like telling you to lure people to hang out with you while you watch Frozen or something. Yeah. <laughs> and the entire when Elsa has ice powers for the first time, just... This is like the most manipulative it article. Is. I'm so confused. So we read the whole article. Do you feel like you have what it takes? I definitely think that I could either A, make people very concerned about me, but yeah. not <laughs> not for any particular reason. Because I, I don't think they would connect everything. No way. I think they would probably just think, Danny's been acting really fucking weird lately. It's kind of off the rails. I think he might be sick or I will just get pneumonia. Yeah. Cause <laughs> dipping my hands in cold water all the time, standing outside in the snow yeah. like it's nothing. Like it might seem like nothing, but it is not nothing. It is not. You're just pretending that it doesn't absolutely hurt. <laughs> yeah. Like completely. Yeah. Step number nine, <laughs> act like your frostbite doesn't bother you. I'm fine guys. Yeah. I feel like if I were to try this, it would be like a lifelong time investment for no reason. Like yeah. this is an everyday thing that you have to apply yourself and try to get people to like believe that you have these and powers that you don't have. I guess the goal is to get people to confront you about it. <laughs> like, all right, I'll ask, what the fuck are you doing with this whole like cold thing? And then you, and then you get to be like, oh, I didn't want to have to tell you this, but something happened last winter when I met an old witch. Well, do you want to show me? Um, uh, whoa, I'm back to normal. I feel warm again. <laughs> They just went away suddenly. It lifted the curse. <laughs> you asking to see my ice powers lifted the curse. Jeez. That's a great way to get out of it. Yeah. yeah I remember the witch saying, uh, the curse will be lifted <laughs> if anyone ever asked to see my ice powers. <laughs> How to act like you're possessed. Why? Whether you want to pretend to be possessed as part of a Halloween costume, of course. That's reasonable. That is reasonable. Or you simply want to pull a disturbing prank on your friends and family. 
not less nice reasonable. reasonable. <laughs> I'm just so intrigued. That wasn't a very good reason to want no. to act like this way. But... It's like, okay, so this has 150,000 views. The other one had like 99,000 or something like that. Who is reading these articles? Just get a hobby. Like, go bowling. These are only for people who have gone through every other WikiHow article <laughs> of like different ways to have fun. And they're like, been there, done that. I learned how to bowl. I learned how to arts and crafts. Now what do I do? I mean, the very first step is like, it's not fun. It's Become withdrawn, quiet, and defensive. See, that's what I'm saying. This is like a complete dedication of your life. <laughs> like you have, you can't have a job with these things because if you're trying to be cold and you're like at work, like yeah. you're gonna get fired. Like this is a complete investment of your entire life. One of the most telltale signs of a demonic possession is a sudden change in personality. A usually happy and social person might become quiet and withdrawn, followed by negativity and hostility. <laughs> so basically be a dick. Yeah. Just, just start being a dick to people. Absolutely. And, um, dickhead. and that'll work. And now you're possessed. Yeah. As Everyone far as anyone makes. else knows. <laughs> Develop sudden and violent verbal outbursts. Jesus. Dude, what is this? Like, what are you doing? I, there's something funny about this picture. Like, it, it seems like he's only half mad. Like, he's not quite into it all the way. Just like something about the way he's... <laughs> pointing like this. He's just kind of like- He's like trying to be discreet about it. Hey, knock it off! <laughs> oh my god, you're possessed! But the other person's terrifying. Almost to the point where it looks like they're- They went back so hard that their <laughs> spine snapped. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Next one is actually concerning. Oh. Uh. Keep a blank, exhausted look on your face. This is probably the one that's gonna be most convincing, I think. Leave incriminating books and images lying around. Like what kind of books? Like what to do if you're possessed <laughs> for dummies? <laughs> for dummies. Guys, I think Devin might be possessed. <laughs> Place books about the occult and drawings of strange symbols in places where people will see them. I'm just confused whether or not we're trying to convince people whether we're not possessed or we are. Yeah, that's a good point because like why would a demon like be reading books about like possessed? Like he already knows what's up. He's yeah. the demon. So like if you're possessed, you wouldn't be reading those books. And it's also like how to convince people you're possessed and dumb. Like you're leaving <laughs> you're leaving these books around places where like people can see them so that they get concerned and have you exercised. Like that's not a smart demon. Do unnerving things in public. Sit in a chair facing the wall and laugh hysterically to yourself. Be seen having furtive conversations with no one in dark corners. Rock back and forth catatonically while repeating a phrase under your breath. Hiss at people suddenly <laughs> as you walk by them. And this is in public. This isn't just around your family anymore. Oh my god. This isn't just a fun prank on your family where at the end you you tell them what's going no, on. No. These are people you'll never see again. This is a lifestyle. And have no reason to like be pranking. <laughs> These are people who are gonna go home and think about this all night. Why did that person hiss is at me? me on a train? <laughs> Excuse like, me, is this seat taken? <laughs> oh, Jesus! <laughs> Honestly, I, f I fear that the consequences of this aren't that people are gonna think you're possessed. Yeah. It's that your family's <laughs> going to send you away. Wake up screaming? <laughs> What? what? <laughs> is this one of those like entrepreneurial like motivational things to do in the morning? <laughs> I'm gonna defeat my morning. I'm gonna be on top of things. I wake up every morning at 5 a.m. Screaming. <laughs> Jeez. My wife hates it. Okay, let's check out the comments of these. Yeah. The comments are usually the best parts of these WikiHow articles in some cases because yeah. usually I feel like WikiHow articles lay everything out for you. Absolutely. Like this yeah. article was so comprehensive, you couldn't possibly <laughs> fuck it up. So let's see what people had questions about. This is a kind of concerning <laughs> question and I feel like this person is currently in crisis. <laughs> when do I stop acting like I'm possessed? Like he's gotten himself in too deep. <laughs> This whole okay. life is in ruins. Okay, guys, um, I'm in a mental hospital, <laughs> and my family uh, stopped visiting me about three years ago. When do I stop <laughs> acting like I'm possessed? When is this whole charade, like, over? As soon as someone no longer finds it amusing, I imagine this could get really annoying really fast. Who would initially find this amusing? It, like, I would be so concerned. Do you think the I person who wrote this question was like, oh... Fuck, that's when I was supposed <laughs> to stop? Okay, that was about... Immediately. So this one um, might come in handy in a pinch. Yeah, yeah. I would say. Of course. Every every day, probably. How to pretend to faint. <laughs> Did you forget to study for a test? Are you scheduled to participate in an event, but you wish you could back out? Are you a compulsive liar who <laughs> doesn't care about integrity or know how to back out of things reasonably? I'm worried about... Whoever's reading this article thinking that this is a catch-all solution <laughs> and they can use this whenever they don't want to do anything. And so once they read this article, they're like, I've got this down for life. Anytime I don't have to do anything, I can just pretend to faint. Hey, Danny, can you take out the trash? Oh, God, Danny, you did, you did it again. It's like the most basic task. Can you pass the remote? It's closer to you than it is. To oh, no, Ryan. And then immediately when they grab the remote, they're fine. They just stand up.
I mean, we don't even have to read this article to know how to do this either, right? No, we just did it. We just both did it. Yeah, because how do you faint? Oh, you just pretend to stop doing everything else. Step one is learn how to mimic a, a f real fainting spell. So, I mean, that's the whole thing. Step one, learn how to pretend to faint. Yeah, is this the only step? Oh, learn the causes of fainting. It doesn't matter the causes of fainting because yeah. you already know the cause of fainting if it's it's something you don't want to do. Yeah. The cause of fainting <laughs> is, there's a test in front of me. Yeah. Decide on a harmless reason for your fake faint. Because okay. you don't want people to get too concerned about you. Right. Because you didn't actually faint. Right, so it's nothing like actually wrong with me. It's just a one-time case. Mm-hmm. Every day. What will happen if I'm out for one minute or more? Like, what are they asking? What are what are my friends gonna do? I, dude, I don't know your friends. <laughs> like, we don't know. First, they're going to ask you if you're okay. Yeah. Then they're going to say, "Wow, Brian always fucking does this. <laughs> He's an asshole and he just pretends to faint all the time." Brian, we know you're awake right yeah. now. Just then they're going the to wake up. you up and make you take the test. <laughs> the answer is, it is not safe to faint for longer than about 20 seconds. That doesn't get you out of any situation. Yeah. <laughs> Other than an immediate, like, yeah. can you pass you, the salt? You walk into a test and you faint and 20 <laughs> seconds later you, so I, <laughs> is the test over? <laughs> Do I still gotta take it, or what? They're like, we haven't even start- I haven't even handed out the tests yet. We're all just like looking at you doing this yeah. thing. I don't know. I love this one. <laughs> what will happen if I am out for, let's say, one hour? Yeah, I feel like they're- <laughs> Planning a big plot. Yeah, and trying to act really casual about it. <laughs> they know that the, the idea of fainting for that long might be crazy, but they're yeah. trying to say, uh, let's say, let's just throw out a random <laughs> number. Like, an hour. <laughs> about as long as a high school test set. <laughs> <laughs> While we were looking for articles, we found uh, an article called How to Be a Spy Kid. Yeah, yeah. Which I think sounds really cool. That's a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. Love spy kids. Have you seen the movie? Oh, yeah. yeah. And I always wanted to be one, so this article, pretty cool. But... Yeah, but while we were looking at the related ones, we found this one called How to Be a Girl Spy Kid. So yeah. I'm just kind of curious as to what the differences are. Yeah, I, I don't know. Is it just like a, you think it's just like the things you do? I don't know. Wear. I'm worried it's gonna be a little bit sexist. I think it's it like be. how to be a girl spy kid. Um, don't. <laughs> Spying is for boys. <laughs> oh no. Actually, that's the first line of the description. Do you think that only boys can be spies? Just because they only sell the cool gadgets for boys, it does not mean you cannot be a great spy girl. Number one, buy tiny notebooks. Tiny. Mm -hmm. Has to be tiny. Pick a color that you like. It should be about two to four inches. <laughs> two inches? Two in what kind of Wait, is it saying thick or like <laughs> like it how would you even write in that? Like, ah. Okay, first note, the... Flip the page. Oh, fuck. Uh, Two to four inches? It must be talking about the length because... You wouldn't have a you four inch a four thick, thick notebook. <laughs> that would be some serious notes. Do not write anything like my spy clues or my spy notebook on the cover. You would blow your cover. Everyone would know that you're a girl spy. So it, it wants you to write homework notes or something boring that doesn't attract people. Like yeah. notes on how garlic day came to be? Yeah. What? What the fuck is garlic day? <laughs> I would just think they're weird as hell. Like, And if someone was learning about it, why would they devote an entire uh, notebook, <laughs> a four inch thick notebook, it's on like how, tracking how garlic notes. day came to be? Yeah. Blend in with your surroundings. Use camouflage. Why do these look like whole ass <laughs> trees? It doesn't look like a branch. Like it looks like a whole ass tree. Like she's a giant that up, I like, pulled trees from the earth and stuck them in her head. I blend in. And she's like a hundred feet tall standing over here. Tiffany, you. what are you doing? <laughs> How are you so big now? I'm a spy. Well, uh, I think I learned a lot today. What do you think? I... Brian! Not again! All right, well, I think it's safe to say we're coming out of this video a lot smarter than when we started. That's right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Check out Ryan's channel. We did a video for his channel as well. I'll link to it in the description. It's pretty funny. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe and turn on my notifications to join Greg. I'll see you guys next time with a really interesting video where I cut off my dad's hands.